Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete, and I hope your Christmas week is shaping up to be one filled with the joy of Jesus. Christmas is often a time that brings a lot of family together. For some of us, the thought of extra family time brings excitement, and for others, it brings dread. Families are complicated. The first family, Adam, Eve, Cain, and Abel, proved that. If you don't know how dysfunctional that family was, just read Genesis 3 and 4. Families are also very important to God. The fifth of the Ten Commandments says, honor your father and mother. That command is repeated over and over again throughout Scripture. While the command is often repeated, it is also often ignored. Several stories highlight how sons and daughters have failed to give honor to their parents. Today's proverb is 2824, and it says, Whoever robs his father or his mother and says that is no transgression is a companion to a man who destroys. I think probably the very first response to hearing this is, how have I robbed my parents? Or who would rob their parents? And perhaps you've not been tempted to steal money or household items from your family. But if we're honest, many of us have faced that temptation and many of us have given in to that temptation. But I think that one way that we have all robbed from our parents, in some measure, is robbing them from the honor that God requires they be given. While the command to honor our father and our mother might be a favorite verse for parents of toddlers, as we age, we tend to think, this verse really doesn't apply to me anymore, but it does. Whether you are five years old, 15 years old, or 55 years old, your parents should be honored by you. Like I said, families are complicated. I know, based on past hurts and broken relationships, figuring out how to apply this verse can be very tricky. There's probably prayer and forgiveness that needs to be offered. That's a step in honoring your parents if the relationship is broken. Maybe this Christmas, sending a card giving them a call might be a new step in showing honor. If your parents live a long distance or they live in an assisted living facility, maybe you need to commit to visiting them more often. Really, there are so many different ways that you could show honor to your parents. And guided by God, I know that you can figure it out. Whatever you do, listen to Proverbs 28, 24. Don't rob your parents, especially the honor and respect that they are due. As we wrap up, I want to say to my mom and dad, I am very thankful for the great example that you have been to me and to my kids. I'm so thankful for all of the love and the kindness that you constantly show. And I love you. And I hope that you know how much that I respect you. And to my Calvary family, I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas as you gather together with family and friends. May the peace of Christ and the joy of his salvation be the foundation for all of your gatherings in the coming week. Have a blessed day.